Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at the Popov Leather Pen Sleeve. This is their Driftwood Leather with cream stitching. I really, really like this combo. Big thank you to Popov for sending this over free of charge. I will not let that affect my review in any way, um, but it was very nice of them to send this along. It's a pretty nice pen sleeve. Um, real quick, pen sleeves are kind of something that I recommend to everyone who's into higher-end pens get. Uh, it may just be me, but when I get a scratch on a pen, it really kind of messes with me. I actually just got a scratch on the brand new Twisby 580 ALR Purple. Really disheartening. But, put one in this, you're going to be just fine. Uh, your pens won't get scratched. Hopefully they offer some drop protection as well like this one does. But it's just kind of one of those things that I think everyone needs to have. Even if you don't like this one, definitely pick one up. Let's go ahead and go over to um, some quick size comparisons, and then what I like about it, what I'm neutral towards, and what I dislike. First up, some quick size comparisons. Here we have the Popov Leather Pen Sleeve, then we have the Aston Leather Pen Sleeve, and the Rickshaw Bagworks Solo Pen Sleeve. So these are these two are, are a bit more comparable, so we'll set this one off to the side, kinda. Um, so these two here, they're both leather pen sleeves, this one's a much higher quality pen sleeve. This one's much cheaper. It's kind of the trade-off. Um, however, this one's going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit wider, and much better made. Uh, this pen sleeve is okay, but it is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more narrow and a little bit taller. Keep that in mind. And again, this is much different than the Rickshaw Bagworks Solo pen sleeve, but I'll go and compare them here. Uh, the Bagworks pen sleeve is a little bit longer, much more narrow, uh, just because of that fold-over design. And it's pretty similar thickness overall. Uh, once you have a pin in it, this one's going to be a little bit thicker. Last thing, just bring out a good old-fashioned Pilot Metropolitan here so you can kind of get an idea of how wide and long this pin sleeve is. All right, so on to what I like about this. Tons of things here. Uh, first up, the quality of the leather and the stitching is just superb. Um, I've covered this most of this in my uh, other Popov leather review for the EDC Pocket Armor. Go check that one out if you haven't. And... It's just the quality's there, you know? Um, they're handmade, hand-stitched, leather's full grain leather. It's really, really nice. They've got 12 different combinations between leather and uh, thread color that you can pick out, so you're probably gonna find one that you like if you're into leather. But it's just it's just really well made. Um, there's no issues with fraying stitches, and I've had this for a few weeks now, been carrying it daily. The only wear I've seen at all is on the leather itself, and that's kind of what leather does. Um, it wears, it builds character, and it kind of differentiates itself from other, you know, other pen sleeves. This one's not going to look exactly like any other pen sleeve. Um, first off, basically coming out of the factory. It's not a factory. Coming, <laughs> coming out of Pop-Off um, because they're all handmade. But also, as you put your pens in here, it's going to wear over time. Um, you can see I've been carrying mostly a Lamy Dialogue 3, um, which is a very big pen, in here for the past couple of weeks. And it has molded like this perfect pill shape. Um, I really, really like this this pen a lot, and I've been carrying it in this, and I think it's just a perfect match. Um, it's just the quality's there. You could tell there was effort put into this. It's very, very well made. Another thing I like is how it's broken in. Um, it was a little uh, worrying when I got it. It just kind of it's the same thing with the pocket armor you know i opened it up and i was like oh, i don't know about this but after a day or so they just they just get really really good um well really not even that as soon as you put something in them you can tell um and you can see if, if i press on a little bit it kind of morphs to that lamy dialogue three shape um but the leather's just broken in really really well it's really really supple it's really really soft it's definitely not going to scratch up any of your pens on the inside or outside it's just really, really nice. I've really liked this as it's aged. Um, again, same thing with the pocket armor, and that could just be me enjoying leather, but it is what it is. Uh, next thing up is the price. So when I get something like this uh, in for review that, that a company has sent me, I generally don't like look at the price at all until I'm finished with the review for the most part. So I kind of get my impressions of the price, take a guess, and hopefully it's there or lower. Um, this one's uh, uh, quite a bit lower, actually. So I assume this was going to be around $40, um, just because, you know, they're handmade, like, by, basically, when you order it, they make it. Um, so they're all handmade. They're really, really good quality. The leather's really nice, and generally, full-grain leather is pretty expensive. 
just in my experience. So I really thought this would be around forty dollars or so, especially considering the amount of full grain leather they have in this. It's actually around thirty bucks, which is really really nice. And on top of that thirty dollars, um, you do get free shipping to all uh, U.S. and Canadian orders. They're actually from Canada. Uh, Pop Pop Leather is based there. And you can check out their website. I'll leave it linked below um, with this exact pen sleeve if you want to pick this one up. Uh, but you can read a bit more about the company and stuff. But they also offer a lifetime warranty, which is pretty rare um, just in any product nowadays. It used to be a bigger thing back in the day. It's not anymore. But it's nice to know that this is expected to last you a lifetime. And leather's going to do that, especially when it's really well made like this. So I think the price is honestly a pretty good deal you're running a bit high for a pen sleeve um, compared to most other brands like the Aston leather is like 12 bucks I think the rickshaw bag works is like 15 but the, but the leather and the Aston leather, leather pen sleeve is nothing close to this the craftsmanship's nothing close to this um, the craftsmanship on the rickshaw bag works is pretty good as well um, I really like these I have a few of these um, it's not quite as high but again it's it's half the price but the material is also not the same. It's going to protect it from scratches, but not drops. This is padded enough to where I would be... I'm not going to say comfortable dropping a pen in this, because I'm never comfortable dropping a pen. But if I had to pick any pen sleeve I wanted to drop a pen in, this would be it. Just because it's a bit more durable. Let's go ahead and move on to neutral. So first thing up on the neutral is uh, the width, the size. Uh, I'm not really worried about the length. It's it's just fine. But when you put a... It's, it's pretty wide. Um, a, again bring the metropolitan out here it's it's much wider than putting just a metropolitan in your in your pocket uh, for this example i'm going to use specifically the, the the lamy dialogue three um it looks like this is about three lamy dialogues wide and it is but when you put a pin in there it's going to narrow out just a bit maybe two and a half lamy dialogues now um but the width is still there now that's to be expected, and that's why this isn't neutral and not the bad. Because this is basically two sheets of leather being put together, there's, there has to be stitching all the way around. Um, the only way Rickshaw Bag Works is able to get around this is by folding the cloth over. Now, there's that's fine for, for, uh, for some uses, and I generally prefer that more for pocket carry, but for bag carry... I generally prefer this this more rectangular, stitched all the way around design. Um, it's a bit more appealing to me. And it, it's just, it's a little bit wider, but it feels more durable. And the main reason for that is if you drop this on its sides, it's going to be hitting all of this material over here instead of just hitting the back. So that's something. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit wider. It's not horrible in the pocket i actually carry this in my pocket exclusively however i think for a bag pocket or a purse this would be fantastic uh my wife has several pen sleeves that are kind of the same shape probably going to steal this one from me at some point if if she gets a hold of it um but she'll toss these in her purse and just you know i'm i'm more okay with that because it doesn't let dirt and stuff get into the pen but they'll protect it from getting scratched from her keys or whatever else and it's pretty durable and I carry a messenger bag daily, um, so having something with a little bit of padding is very, very nice to toss in there and not worry about it scratching my laptop or my laptop scratching it or whatever. Um, so for a bag carry, I think this is fine, but for pocket carry, it's just a little bit too bulky. Um, same thing with the EDC pocket armor. Maybe offering multiple sizes would fix this, but again, then you're going to have the issue of is my pen going to fit question coming up a lot more. And... I can completely understand, you know, where that's coming from. And this size is a pretty middling size. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of my pens fitting in it at all. Um, they have a list of pens on the website that are guaranteed to fit in it, but I've tried my largest pens, which is the Lamy Dialogue 3 and the uh, Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, and I had no issues with it. Uh, smaller pens aren't going to be super great. Kveco Lilliput, Kveco Sport, um other small pens fisher space pen not gonna be great but that's that's when you go to the pocket armor but the size is okay um again leaning more towards bad carry than pocket carry but it's not bad the only other thing is i wish this uh this lip came down just a little bit more so i could get access to the pen a little bit better um this is a really long pen <laughs> um 
it's it's a little bit longer than the Pelican M805, so I don't have any pins that are long enough to where I can just reach in here and pull them out. Maybe the Pilot penmanship, but I don't carry that because it's horrible. Um, but it's just, you're going to have to do some, some massaging here at the back to get it to come out. And that's, and it's normal on leather pen sleeves in my experience. Uh, the only one I've used that I don't have to do that is the Rickshaw Bagworks, but that's cloth, it's a lot more pliable, you can kind of slip it around. So maybe having this brought down maybe a stitch or two, I'm sure there's a reason they keep it this high, uh, maybe f just for, you know, retention, but maybe having that brought down a bit would help. Um, and last thing, your pen can shake out of here, which is good for some people, you know, especially if you're carrying a ballpoint or a roller ball and you don't care about ink getting everywhere. Um, it's great, but your pen can shake out of here. Now, that was a Lamy Dial like 3 fairly heavy pen. This is a Pilot Metropolitan, and I'm not getting it to come out. So lighter pens, uh, you're going to have to really, really shake them out to get them to come out. So most of your pens are going to retain in here just fine, but if there is a heavier pen that you're using, keep that in mind. Make sure you're sitting in your pocket, you know, bottom side down. All right, on to the dislike. Um, I, did th I don't think I had anything in my EDC pocket armor, but I do have one thing here, and it's, it's a little nitpick, and it's stupid, but I figured I would go ahead and mention it. Um, and this may be from leather wear. I'm not sure. Um, I, I noticed it maybe two weeks ago or so. But if you look right here, you can see the back part of that leather sticking up just past the front. Just a little bit. Just right there. And that's not the case on the other side. But it was just cut just a little bit short right there. Again, really minor detail. But I've got to mention it. Um, you know, $30 for a fountain pen sleeve is really, really nice. The quality is really, really nice. That is the only thing I can find quality-wise that I'm not super psyched about. And again, it's such a little nitpick, but it is there. Actually, I'll see if I can zoom in on this for you just a bit. If I can get it to focus up. You can kind of see there. It's just, just a little bit past it. It's not a big deal by any means, uh, but it is a thing. So there you go. All right, on to the conclusion. And do I think you should buy this? Um, I think you should buy this if you're looking for a padded, durable, and pretty pen sleeve. I do think you should buy it in that case. Um, if you're looking for something light and thin, this is not where you want to go. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to age well with the rest of your EDC, and that's how you're carrying this, by all means, pick it up. It's going to keep your knife from scratching your, your pen, or vice versa. Um, but as part of just a, a grab it and go thing, which is how I've been carrying it, I've literally been grabbing my wallet and tossing this in the same pocket as it, and it works okay, but again, it's a little bulky. I generally, you know, I'm really excited to get to work and pull it out of my pocket <laughs> and leave it out for the rest of the day, uh, just because of that width. So if you have larger pockets, or you plan on carrying this in a bag, I think this will be an excellent excellent choice however if you're going to be carrying this in your pocket every day and you have smaller or uh, regular sized pockets this may be just a little bit bulky for you um, in my pocket it will fit with the EDC pocket armor but that's about the entire width of my pocket so if you have the space go for it um, the quality is there the durability is there the craftsmanship's there and the price is pretty good. If you have any questions about this or anything else on my channel, feel free to ask me down in the comments. Again, I'll leave a link down to this um, exact pen sleeve down at Pop Off Leather. They actually have a whole writing section, by the way. So if you know, if you have notebooks that you need cases for, um, they have stuff that you can slip your notebook into with a pen sleeve on it, or uh, a lot of pen sleeve, a little like this kind of thing. So you can grab one of those. Um, they have them for field notes as well, if you're into that. The smaller notebooks, which I generally am. Um, they have Hobonichi Techo covers, and they just they just look really nice. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't need a planner, but if I did, I don't know, maybe I do need a planner. Anyway, um, they sell this. They also sell some notebooks, so if you want to pick up a pack of field notes and a cover for it, you can, you can totally do that. 
A lot of custom custom customizability. Words are hard. Options there as well. Um, and that's all under the writing section. They have a bunch of different stuff. But definitely go check them out. Um, they've been a lovely, lovely company to work with. I've I've enjoyed all of my interactions with them. They've been nothing but nice and receptive to feedback. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, how this and the EDC Pocket Armor grow over time and uh, maybe picking up some more stuff from them in the future. But yeah, definitely go check them out. Great, great company and really good customer service from my experience. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks, guys. Bye.